guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing a, another $1 product test. So this is the other foundation that I picked up during my Shop Miss A $80 kind of splurge haul that I did. So as you guys are familiar with my channel, I have been using the AOA uh, $1 foundation lately and I really love this foundation. It is actually a BB cream, but I'm really, really loving it. So this is the other foundation that I that I purchased. So it's a mattifying foundation and it comes with this leopard print kind of tube. You get, how many fluid ounces do you get? You get 30 grams, so you get 1.5 of an ounce and it will last for two years, so 24 months and it was only a dollar. So I'm doing a, another video today where I do my um, liners and stuff, so that video will probably be up before this video or after this video, I'm not too sure yet, but that's why I'm only doing the foundation test in this video and I'm doing my liner and eye stuff in another video. So this foundation I got in the shade um, Mix N-2, so I don't actually know what foundation it is, I, it's just kind of like the one of the lightest foundations that I saw on the website and when I tested it on my hand it blended into my my color of my skin very well so I'm excited to see if this works so I'm gonna try it with my beauty blender that I need to wash and see how it works so the only thing that I have on my face right face face the only thing that I have on my face right now is my daily moisturizer that I use every morning and every night so I don't have anything else on my face so I'm not going to test it with primer because I think that the foundation or the cream that I have on my face is already going to be a good enough primer so I'm not going to use a primer um, on my face today just to see how this foundation works just by itself with just like a moisturizer that I throw on every day. So the only complaint that I have so far with this foundation is I prefer tubes or <laughs> I don't prefer tubes. I prefer them to come in bottles like this or with a pump. So like the AOH foundation is also in a tube. So I'm just not really like a big fan of these. I find that you waste a lot of product and they're a little bit messy. I like products that come in like a tube, but that's just me. The also I'll, only other complaint that I have so far is I don't like the smell. It has a very kind of perfumey smell. It kind of smells like um, when you're hanging out with your aunt or you're hanging out with like your grandma or something and like they have like a very strong like feminine perfume scent. Like that's exactly what it smells like and I just not a fan of it. But it blended into my skin really well so I'm really excited. So I'm just going to pour about that much onto my skin, maybe a little bit more and I'm going to go in with a beauty blender and well this is the Morphe sponge. So the first thing that I'm noticing um, is it is a very thick foundation. So I'm assuming, I'm hoping that means it's going to be a high coverage foundation. So I'm just going in with a little bit at a time and just buffing it in and spreading it out because I don't want to look caked or anything. So I'm just going to go in tiny little dots and work my whole face in. So that is the first layer of the foundation on. Um, a little bit. So it actually is pretty nice. It, it is very, very, it is a very good match. Um, I'm not seeing the line or anything and it does actually match my skin tone really well. So I'm really happy about that. But I think I'm just going to apply just a little bit more onto some of my areas where my acne scars are poking through and discoloration is poking through still. So, so far so good. It's not sinking into any of my fine lines or anything. It looks pretty good actually. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and just show you guys what it looks like up close. So up close, this is what my skin looks like. I'm not finding that it's really sinking into my forehead lines at all really quite yet. It's not sinking into my smile lines yet. And it actually is a really good color match. So I'm actually pretty impressed with it. So now I'm gonna quickly go do the rest of my makeup, so my bronzer, my foundation, or my foundation. I'm gonna go do my bronzer, my highlight, and all of that stuff, and then I will come back once my makeup is completely done and we can do the wear, we can start the wear test. One last thing that I want to mention, I'm not going to be using any of my concealer on my forehead or the rest of my face just because I want to test out this foundation. The only parts where I put the concealer down is underneath my eyes to brighten them up. So I'm not gonna be using the concealer on anywhere else just because I wanna see how the foundation performs. Okay, so now that I have my full face of makeup on, it is 12.57 right now. So 12.57 and I'm going to be leaving this makeup on pretty much all day. So I will check back in throughout the day and let you guys know my thoughts and what I'm seeing. And so far it looks great. It doesn't look bad at all, for a, especially for a dollar. So the entire makeup that I have on right now, I have my brows done, which I used my 
ABH Brow Pomade, and I also use a NYX pencil in the shade Brunette, just because I have dirty blonde hair and I like my brows a little bit darker. So I have these two products, and then I also use the Platinum Ice for my highlight. As you guys always know, I always use Ice Cold. And then I used my NYX Contour and Sculpting Palette. I like to use the warmer shades just because I have a warmer complexion. So I used those colors, those shades, and the concealer that I used today is the ColourPop 04, and I just used that underneath my eyes, and then of course the foundation that we are testing out. So I will check back in probably in a couple hours and let you guys know what I'm seeing and how the foundation is holding up. So far, my first first opinion of it is that I'm finding that it's not exactly full coverage, but it's only a dollar, so I'm not really that upset about it. I'm finding that on my nose, it didn't fully cover some of the redness, which I would normally use concealer to cover if my foundation isn't as co full coverage as I want, but I'm wanting to test this foundation out just on its own, so I didn't conceal any of this. So right there is still a little bit red. Here on my nose is still a little bit red, and then Underneath my eyes, they're not creasing or anything, it's just sinking into my under eyes just a little bit, but which is pretty normal for me. And then my forehead, I'm actually really impressed. It hasn't sank in into any of those lines yet, and my smile lines are fine. So I will check back in in about, I don't know, three or four hours and let you guys know what I'm seeing. One last thing that I forgot to do, I am going to set my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and see how this holds up. I also have the Morphe spray, so I just picked it up. So if you guys are interested in a review on that and doing a wear test with that spray, let me know. Okay, so it hasn't actually been three hours. It's been like, I don't know, 25 minutes. <laughs> um, I put my glasses on and I went and met up with my friend because she was coming into town and it's starting to rub off where I um, have my glasses on my nose. So I'm just going to touch that up right now just because I have other videos to do today and I wanted to touch it up on camera. So I didn't add any extra product, I just used the sponge that I used to apply it and it blended out easily so this is definitely a foundation that will probably rub off if you are close to somebody or you get too close to somebody's clothing or if you wear glasses so I think what I'm going to do is I am going to set my nose again just with my setting spray and hopefully that helps it <laughs> a little bit but I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Hey guys, so this is the very first check-in that we're gonna be doing. It is 4.04 .04 p.m. We said that we were going to check in after three hours, so that was at 12.57, so now it's 4.04, .04, so it's been three hours. The only thing um, that I'm really noticing with this foundation is that it has rubbed off a little bit on my chin right here, on my nose a little bit, and on my forehead it is sinking in. So what I've been doing, and I've just been sitting here looking at it, I've just kind of buffed in the fine lines a little bit with my beauty blender. Haven't added anything extra to it it's just blending it out a little bit and buffing in on my nose where it completely came off right here and I'm gonna zoom you guys in just so you guys can see what it looks like up close I think my sister's here so this is what the foundation looks like um, up close with the studio lights turned down so you guys can see a little bit of my fine lines underneath my eyes but that is more to go with the concealer that I use and then it has rubbed off a little bit on my chin on my nose and on my forehead it is starting to sink in a little bit but so far for a dollar I think this foundation is really great it definitely the smell of it that perfumey chemically smell doesn't really linger so it's not giving me a headache or anything I'm gonna turn the lights back up a little bit so I do think this is a really great foundation so far this has only been three hours though so I will check back in in another three hours around seven o'clock and let you guys know what I think okay guys so this is gonna be the last check-in of the night so it is what time is it right now it is 8 30 8 29 on the dot and I am ready to move on to something else tonight for a video so it has been on since we said it was what 12 57 and it is 8.30 now, so it's been on for over seven hours, so I think it looks still really good. It hasn't really sank into any of my fine lines. It is breaking up a little bit on my nose area, on my forehead area, and like my chin area, but I have been sitting like this for quite a while while I was just on YouTube and watching videos and stuff, so that's not really the foundation's fault. That's more of just like I touch my face. Um, I find that the fine lines under my eyes have definitely gotten worse, but it has been on for quite a few hours. So 
it's not that bad. Um, I'm actually really impressed with this foundation for only a dollar. It looks really great. It is more of a sheer coverage. I wouldn't say it's a high coverage foundation, especially for how thick it was. It really wasn't that full coverage. I would definitely recommend using a concealer with this kind of foundation, but I mean, most people do anyway, but I just wanted to try it out. But I definitely think it looks really good for a dollar, and I have absolutely no complaints about it, especially for that price point. So. This is what my skin looks like up close. So this is what it looks like with the lights turned down. So you can see my fine lines. You can see like it has broken up a little bit and on like my nose and stuff. But it definitely doesn't look terrible. So I mean, whatever. So this is what the foundation looks like if you are interested in picking it up on Shop Miss A. It is this leopard print kind of style and you get, I think I believe I said it already, but you get 1.5 of a fluid ounce. So you get quite a bit of product especially for only being a dollar. And then of course there is the CC cream that I have been using and loving for the last month or so, which is the brand AOA and it's the Perfect BB Cream and then this is the brand Amuse. So these are both only a dollar and they work really well and I don't ever get breakouts from these foundations. Oh my God, knock on wood. I hope this foundation doesn't break me up. I haven't gotten any breakouts for the, from these foundations. They haven't irritated my skin. They've been working great. so. This just proves that you don't need to spend $50, like all of the brands at Sephora, you don't need to spend that on foundation. It's just kind of ridiculous how expensive foundation is when you can get ones for a dollar that work better, if, if not better. Like these ones, I'm more impressed with these foundations than I have ever been with any of the foundations I've ever gotten from Sephora or Ulta, like really. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Leave me a comment down below if you guys are enjoying these $1 videos, and let me know if you guys are interested in me continuing this series, because I have been looking on the Shop Miss A site, and I'm thinking about picking up some more items. So if you guys are interested in these kind of videos, then please give me a comment down below and let me know what you guys would be interested in me reviewing, and I will see you guys at my next video. Bye.